Today I'll show you how you can password protect your WordPress admin directory area. This is great if you're wanting to add just an extra level of security for your website. A lot of times hackers will try to log into your dashboard by figuring out your username and password. But if you limit the login attempts, then that's helpful. The other thing that you can do is actually password protect this area so that they have one extra step that they have to try and get through before they can access your site. So we're going to set something up like this where they'll have to sign in with the proper username and password, and then they'll have to know the username and password to your actual WordPress dashboard. To do this, you'll want to log in to your hosting provider. I'll be using Bluehost to show you what this looks like. Many hosting providers have something similar, so you'll just need to dig around and see where the directory privacy area is for yours. But if you're using Bluehost, then this will be quite simple for you as well. For Bluehost, we're looking under Advanced, and then it'll take us to this area where we can go to Files and Directory Privacy. And click on that, and then scrolling down, we want to click on the public HTML. And then from here, we're looking for the WP Admin area. From here, we want to click Edit. And then you see we can password protect the directory. So let's enable this. And you can change this, enter a name that is meaningful to you, or you can just leave it like this and do something like Admin Area to help me remember it. And let's go ahead and click Save. And now it says that it's been password protected, but we need to go back. And now we'll have a username, password, and password strength for us to fill out. They even have a password generator that can set it up for you. So allow it to generate the password. If you find one that you like, say you've copied it and use it, and then it'll fill it out and tell you that it's strong. Remember to save it. Along with your username, you want to save it somewhere so you'll remember it. And now it is set up. So when we go to our admin area, we'll be shown this username and password. And once we do sign that in, then now we can go to our login. Now note that the username and password for this area, as well as for the original area, those should be different. And so you'll want to have them saved in a separate location and remember both of those. Now that is the quickest way to do that. If you want to password protect the admin area using code, then you can check out a link in our description below for the written article on how to set that up. But for most people, this is the best way to do it for your site. And if you wanna get more tutorials on how to set up and use your website, watch this video next as I walk you through step-by-step -step on how to create your first website. And I'll see you over there.